Are you ready to make a life changing decision that could lead up to death, murder, or the extermination of everybody who you love? Well, great, because we're going to play it again. Dusk as falls. Us haven't left off on. Um, our man is almost about to get shot. But we don't know if he's actually about to get shot, so. Yeah. We don't know if he's about to live. We don't know if he's about to die. Honestly, we know nothing. So, hopefully. <laughs> I continue. Oh, so you. Okay. Yes, solo. Yes, I, I play solo. Okay, Jake it is. It's Jake from State Farm. Work, please. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I did not see the beginning right there. Yeah, yeah, I already know, I already know. Right now. It's coming back where I was. Where I was about to get freaking shot in the face. I'll let your favorite option and press A. Wait, how are you been through this? Oh, oh shoot. I live! Somehow I live! I told you I wasn't gonna hurt anyone. But you are really pushing your luck. Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. Oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Me too. My legs are shaking. Vince. You can't try to fight these people. I know why you did it, but you just can't. I have to protect you. Who knows where they were going to take you? I have to keep you and Zoe safe. I have to, you know? Brave is good. Dying is bad, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. Daddy, did they hurt you? Oh, sweetie, I'm fine. No, I'm good, I'm good. You chillin', you chillin'. Two days from now, we'll be in St. Louis, and it'll be like none of this ever. <laughs> Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. <sighs> you got more faith in him than, than I do. Okay, so we know Shotgun ain't loaded. This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Run County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a class three felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, the dipshit spoke into my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay, check they can't get in the back. Talking with this asshole. Right? Dante will get us out. He's too strong minded for his own good half the time, but he gets things done. <laughs> you know him well? You sound like you know him pretty well. That's a small town. Everyone knows everyone. Okay. Wonder if he knows Ash isn't here tonight. Ash is your son? Yeah. Best thing I ever did. We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. <laughs> the back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler. I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves... Don't say it. Romero's impatient. And these small town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. Is someone gonna get that? 
the police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. Please stop Enough. talking. Please. Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. Uh... Cracking Toad is not the best thing in this situation. Calm. You're not gonna put anyone in that office. Believe me, I will. No offense, but I think you're just hot wind. All right, that's it, into the back. No, don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. Please. I think you both need a little time out. Jay? Make sure nobody answers the damn phone. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. And don't make me come in here again. Okay, so we're in the back room now. What was that all about? There's a second phone. The sheriff calls again. Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? No. Yes, no good. That's too tight. All right. How will we do this? Friction, maybe. Or Scissor. we use scissors. Or the pencil. Or scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? That's it. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One, two, three. three. <laughs> if it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? <laughs> I was gonna tap. Quick. I'll lock the door. I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... My family, we're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Well, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. All right, everybody's safe. And Joyce and Paul are both doing okay. Yeah, Joyce is tough. I always told her she could have been a cop if she wanted. How about a kid? He's at a friend's house, I think. Oh, that's good. What else? You're good. Keep going. Um. I have a six-year-old, Zoe. She's not hurt, but God, the thing she's seen today. Ah, oh, poor thing. We'll get her out of there, okay? Yeah, okay. Hey! They blocked the door! Shit, Vince. This door won't hold. The people doing this, there's three of them. The manager said they're the, um, the Holt boys? Oh, no, shit. <laughs> well, that explains a few things. Yeah? Like what? It's a long story. But tonight's gonna be the end of it. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay? Ah, uh, shoot! Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. What did you tell him? Nothing. Nothing. 
I didn't have time. You're lying to me. He's not. They barely said hello. These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him. And he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. Shoot, uh, okay. That's false. All right. So, let's see. 12 years as a flight mechanic. Pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but it's still your word against theirs. My advice, sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. You won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for the airline again, regardless. Now, do yourself a favor and pick up the pen. I was basically saying I did it and literally ruining every other chance. Wait, flip the desk. Clear. This time I actually signed the... A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. Uh... I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by 7. I'm just gonna pick up Chinese. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... Big man, you got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Okay. Where do you want to start? Uh, shoot. Um, obviously, watch this first. Hmm. All right, the most infuriating thing I've ever done in this game. Washing the dishes. All right, dishes done. It's the AC. Okay. If this is anything like the cold air unit on the flight deck. There should be. Well, this is obviously alien technology. <laughs> cool ethereal thermostat control. It's AC by this. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? Alright, alright. We're chilling, chilling, chilling. We're outside. Not yet, not yet. I guess some dreams never get off the Okay, no way there's a quick time event for literally taping boxes. Okay, I got like two minutes. Alright, on the home stretch now. Alright. 
Not yet. Packed hollows. Check water. Nah, I got packed. I got packed the stuff first. I don't got time to look at stuff. I got packed. I don't got time for this. Okay, uh, we're doing good, so I think, yeah, let's say we go outside for a breather, go outside right quick. So long, Now check the weather. All right, we don't got time to stir, so we gotta like, you know, freaking check weather. Cool start today, gradually getting warmer, with a high around 93 degrees, mostly dry with a humidity of around oh, 69. Okay. Well, the nice. weather's the same as here, at least. Come on, Tony. If Jordan can do it, you can do it. <laughs> oh, what the hell, Beth? My kid can make a better call than that. Ah, disappointment. Mm. I actually got everything packed and good, so... Daddy! Hi, pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Millie gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help Mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you going to put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Mmm, mm, shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Awesome. You took care of everything. Nice. I'll make a little joke. Hey, Buster, of course I did. Vince's moving company at your service. Why, yes, we do accept tips. That might be taking it too far. Oh, I don't know. I'll be living on handouts if I mess up this new job. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? No. Make sure you empty the stationery cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed when you get noodled up. Come on, let's get your jammies on. <laughs> so, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Mm. Looking forward to it? Nah. I dreamed that the movers took my, my star lamp, and I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently about something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but... The thing about dreams is, maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like, what? You should face our fears. When we're scared of something, like the dark, our imagination can make it seem a lot worse. But when the sun comes up, you realize there was nothing to be afraid of. Until it gets dark again. Try and get some sleep, okay? Mm. Top tier advice. Top tier advice. Love you. All the way to the moon. I want mommy. Ow. That, uh, that kind of hurt. The moving company better show up tomorrow. That, that kind of hurt. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? 
Settled already? Mommy! <sighs> Coming, love bug. I tried. <laughs> I mean, that'd be big of an, as big of an impact as someone holding a gun in your face, but I actually tried. I'm not gonna lie, that, that hurt. I, I thought it was a good saying, like face your fears and just be, da, da, da. That actually hurt a bit. That hurt. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Gonna miss your sweet little smile cupcake one last drink. Who's Bruce? Ha! Okay, the door is literally stupid. We're not doing the door. Search the desk. That's something. Search desk. Okay, that's the desk. Here, pen. Could be useful. Okay, yes. A useful pen, yes. That door, that's a big no-no. That way. Listen, we're not doing the door. That's stupid. <laughs> it feels like that's my only option, though. But they're literally out there. Why would I use the door? I'm hoping for like another option here. Even the ceiling would be better than the door. All right, nothing. I guess I got to use the door then. This, this is gonna be dumb. Hey. Okay. Oh. I can't believe that actually worked. You see anything? Nah. It's dark out there. You can barely see us. Get some rope. We can tie up the hot spots. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. All right, we got a pin, we got a pin. Zoe's up there. She's scared of the dark. Okay. They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce, I'm serious. Okay. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Listen. We have to stay real quiet. Dad, someone came from the hall. Why are we hiding? Because I don't know what else to do. Hey, it's me. It's Vince. I'm coming in. Daddy! I didn't hurt her. I promise. I know. I heard. Zoe, you okay? Daddy! I don't want to be here anymore. I know you said not to be scared, but I am. Hold her. Oh, I am too. It's okay. It's okay. Let it all out. Do you think they're going to try to come in? Oh. 
Don't tell them. They're probably just checking things out. They're not gonna try anything. You think? Yeah. You're cool. Listen, I'm gonna get us out of here before... before the lights come back on. Okay? With Mommy and Grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. Probably should have warned him. like two things can happen with both of these one we literally we get shot while running we get shot while running and then that ain't gonna be good but if we stay two things can happen they can overpower the cops and we won't go nowhere or two It's not just that. He's got a brain tumor. Oh. If he got hit in the wrong spot or something. Oh, shit. He's still with us, Grandpa. Oh, God. This is... This is all my fault. If I hadn't been so hell-bent on making amends. Hey, are you with us? How do you feel? Jim, how do you feel? My head's throbbing. Is Eddie okay? 
Who? I'll I'll be all right. I I just need a, a minute to to get my. Easy now. He needs to see a doctor. How'd you get caught so quick, huh? The cops, they... I didn't have time to hide. You're lucky you got me around to bail you out. Uh. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. or I start killing hostages. No, oh, hold up. That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. You boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. First, I need to show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. I'm not from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. Bet you delight. Give me 20 minutes. <sighs> Good news, folks. One of you's going home. days earlier. I'm gonna miss your sweet little smile cupcake in the morning. Finally got confirmation from the movers. Are you cheating? Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. My mom, I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. Shut up. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Oh, is there anything more stressful than moving? Nope. There is. I don't want to know. Well, this time next week, we'll be in our new place. Zoe will have a yard to run around <laughs> in. We just have to survive three days in the car with your father first. Anyway, tonight is our last night. And it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember? I got a question. I got to ask about I got to ask. Oh, by the way, you got a message. Something about cupcake? Why did you... Vince, you've been reading my messages? Only one. Thought it was the movers. I was checking to see if it was the movers. I didn't see you could spy on me. <sighs> Some things are private. Hey, yo, who's Bruce, though? It'll wake Zoe. Nah, nah. Hello? Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Good luck to you, too. Bye. Someone from the university. Hmm. The one you just left an hour ago? What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce. Hmm. Yes, like Bruce. 
Why does it even matter? Daddy? <laughs> Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Okay, got Daddy. Daddy? Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and mommy? Uh... I don't want her to worry, so always. Always. Even when we're old and gray, you have to tuck us in at night. Like, I can't obviously let her know. She's six. So, uh, this Bruce dude. Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. Kind of research. There isn't much else to say. <sighs> hmm. You like him? You never even mentioned him. You never said anything about him before. I have. Plenty of times, no, but haven't. whenever I try to talk about work, you switch off. I don't switch off. I just don't remember you talking about him. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Ah, I need to get to the truth. Nah, nah. more than usual mm. because I because I'm changing the schools I need to leave on a high note and last week you said that you had to stay in great papers but you came back smelling of of wine mm. <clears throat> look at me Vince I know things have been hard mm. this last year wasn't a great one for us but nothing happened between me and Bruce can you please believe me Listen, I sense debauchery. I can't, I can't let, I can't let it slide. Michelle, every bone in my body tells me you're sleeping with this guy. Now you're being ridiculous. Oh, right, then give me your cell phone. What? I want to have a look at your messages. Yeah, go on. Have you got something to hide? No. Let, let, let me see him. Let of me see him then. So what's the problem? Let me see What's the matter? It was a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I knew it. <sighs> oh, God. I was right. I don't know what to tell you. It just happened. It don't just happen. You made a conscious decision. Nah, nothing just happens. It just happens. You made a choice, Michelle. You chose to do this. You, you don't need to raise your voice at me. It was stupid. After the accident, you were so... Neither of us were in a good place. And he was... Mm. I don't know. He was there. Mm. Do you love him? Tell me the truth. Do you love him? <laughs> Tell me. Of course not. I love you. But every time I try to get close, you push me away. Look, it was just sex. That's honestly all it was.
Well, now our family, though. What about Zoe? Did you even think what this could do to her? I didn't want to hurt anyone. <sighs> Michelle. I felt so rejected. You haven't touched me in months. You haven't looked at me. When was the last time we even watched a movie together? When you lost your job. This wall went up. You pretend everything's fine. That you don't need to talk. But the wall just gets higher and higher. Brick by brick. And I missed you, okay? Listen, I can admit, both we're both in faults here. I wasn't trying to build a wall. I just, I didn't realize it was affecting you. Sorry. Look, we've been together for 12 years. We've made it through a lot. I just want to know that we can make it through this too. Lately, you've been so absent. I hate seeing you like this, Vince. So this is all because of me? Of course not. No. I just wish we could talk about what you're going through. Maybe I'm... Yeah, I, he said he was depressed. Ever since the accident, I felt... See, we're talking. This is good. Something inside me died. Not just because someone was killed. It's something else. Oh, Vince. It's because you love what you do. And now you can't do it anymore. Whatever you're feeling, we can work through it together. But we can't let this thing follow us to St. Louis. It will taint every bit of happiness we have. If I do this, if I forgive you, you swear it won't happen again? You swear? I promise. Okay. Never. Alright. I'm all about second chances. You got your second chance. Don't break it. For a fair way past. Come it! I'm worried about your dad. Head injuries, bad enough on their own. But if he's got something up there pushing against his brain. How's he doing? In pain. But he wants Zoe to be the one sent out. And Vince, he's right. We've seen what these people are capable of. Please, just get her somewhere safe. Come on, old man. You're going for a walk. Uh, not me. Please. T take Zoe. I'm, uh, well, uh, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. Hey, yo, send me. Nah. Okay, literally, he has a brain tumor and he's bleeding out concussion. He's obviously not gonna last long. Zoe, obviously, mental scar, so it's better to send Zoe. It's gotta be Zoe. She's seen enough for one night. Fine. Take her out, grab the food, come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. I know this is scary. But you're gonna have to be a brave girl out there, okay? I will. Come on, get up. Hey, look, you 
You dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. Thanks. Wow, all is I hope he gets out. Okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. You've got eyes on two hostages. One more, one female child approaching from the front of the building. Daddy, is Grandpa going to die? Nope, nope, nope. Sh shelter. The answer's no. Because I'm here. And you know what I am? An aircraft mechanic? You're supposed to say superhero. Anyway, I promise, no one from our family is going to die. Nice shoot. I That's far enough. I'm Sheriff Romero. I guess you must be Vince. And you must be Zoe, right? <laughs> Your daddy told me all about you. Best if we make this quick. You know how much I love you, right? All, all the way to the moon. That's right. You get scared, you just look up at the sky and remember that, okay? Okay. Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. Daddy, please, don't go. I have to, Pumpkin. But what if you don't come back? No worry. I'll always be with you. You know, all the best things about me, they're part of you already. Oh, he's gonna die. <laughs> so I'm about to do something up. He's gonna go. die. This I'll is foreshadowing dialogue. You will? Always. Hey, hurry it up! Come on, kid. <laughs> Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. But I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. What? Oh. Hang in there, buddy. We're rooting for you. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey. Don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Okay. Okay, we're making smart moves here. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. You're not funny. Well, what do you know? Cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. You did. I really hope you're right. I spent ten years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. Vince, is Zoe okay? She's fine. How's your head? Throbbing, but I think I'm gonna live. Think or no? So, did you meet the sheriff out there? Yeah, you could say that. What's he like? He'll keep us safe. Seems like he's got a handle on things. I think. We 
you'll see. Well, really, no, until the shit hits the frying pan. You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff, ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. What are you doing? I'm gonna fill it with leftovers. Jay, you gonna eat? I'm not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. Eat some goddamn food. Yes. Expect me to look for your stuff? Come on, Kai. Try making friends. What do you mean we can't have any? There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I leak from the vending machine. No. I said no. The answer is no. Show their respect, you know. Hey, how about we just do what we're told, huh? What the hell, man? We're all hungry. Well, they need their strength. We can eat when we're free. When did you start giving two shits about us? I use the power of charisma. I care about everyone. I'm super nice like that. Yeah, okay, whatever. You're creeping me out. They giving you problems? Nah, I got this. Oh, shit, sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stay quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is, this ain't us. You need money, but it's not like Tyler. He built shit. You know, Jay's into nature. Me? Down. Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but... <laughs> this is not Phil. Here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. Offer sympathy. Sounds like some hard shit, man. Oh, fuck you. No, I'm being serious. I see your point. Well, whoop de fucking do. You see my point. Hallelujah. Hey, I was just trying to, you know. What? Feel sorry for me? Go fuck yourself, asshole. Whatever. Enjoy the pizza. I don't think pizza's happening, guys. Oh, I wasn't hungry anyway. I could have got pizza. I tried to show sympathy. You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, up front, where there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. 
You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Hey, tell Dante he better get us out of here. I'll say something along those lines. Do you have to hold me so tight? It's not my fault your neck's so fat. Coming out! Can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. No get there. Yeah, you're almost there. Just keep a cool head. Cool head, right? All right, tell me, Tyler. Come on, please make it back. Keep a cool head, bro. Keep a cool head. Guess who? Dale Holt. I was expecting your brother. Merry fucking Christmas. Bet. Didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Well, that's reassuring. Mm. You know, you were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back. That's what Eddie theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Anyway, I believe you have something of mine. My black book. Where is it? The fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me! One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. Ah, oh, God. Why, <laughs> why, 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 why? Um, yeah. After coming to this uh, very tough choice, um, I thought about it from both sides. Don't tell him. Gets his brains blown out. I get demonetized. But if I don't, I don't get demonetized. But that's a lazy answer. Uh, but if I do, if I warn him, um, you're going to think I'm playing on his side. But like, no, I'm not. But if I don't tell him, then his blood's gonna get blown out, demonetized. My daughter's watching, and his two brothers are in there. So, they could harm them. So, I think it's best to warn him. What's so important about the book? Wait, the kid has a book.
too. All right, and we've come to the end of book two. So now we look over what my traits are. Values, sticks, sticks by their family, whatever it costs. Traits, loyalty, sticks by others in tough times. Play style, still fastest ever. Quick time events, got nothing on me. And nobody has died. Yes, this is all good. Loyalty, values, family, yes, this is, I'm doing good. Now, let's see what other people did. Wait. Okay, so, uh, shoot. Okay, so this is all in book two. Got it, got it. Alright. So let's see what other people did. Tyler, hold the gun. 36%. Trick, hold to reach office. Alright, alright, yes. We got some trickery to Work together to get free. Amazing. Call Dante. Yes. Escape the office. Don't tell Jay about the cops. Yes, ah. Hmm. Cops invade. Look at how many things could have happened. If I just would have just. I tried playing it safe. Choose. All right, good. I, I'm good. All right, good. 60% of people chose not to run. Like, they're thinking the same as me. Like, if we run, there'd be a chance we get shot, something happens, or we get injured. So I played it safe. 53. Yeah, that, he, got, he got knocked out. Jim or Zoe. Okay, looks like this was kind of split down the middle. Jim, get. Or Zoe. I chose Zoe. Good thing it was kind of not that much of a decision. Um, okay. Exchange Zoe. Conversation, the conversation could have went a bunch of places, but it went in pretty good stream, all right? Don't get any pizza. Okay, at least I'm not alone on this one. Like, there's an option to get pizza. I failed in, in retrieving pizza. All right, Heart, human shield. War, war Dale. Oh, that was just 50-50. The War Dale part was a 50-50 thing. Half people warned him, half people didn't. This was such a split decision. This was split in the middle. Wow. Back safety. So many things could have happened. But well, we got this one, 36%. Vince, Michael, and Jim remain. Oh shoot, Vince, Michael, Jim, injured Jim remain. So basically that means up here, one, one of them would have died or something, but I was able to get back here and no one died. But now I wanna see what's down here, cause I, wanna see, I gotta see what the people pick for the marriage thing. I gotta see. I had a dream. Pick up. Finish packing. I like I, I literally finished good, so. Ah. Uh, impressed. I know. Amazing. So he put to bed. So he was still up. So unfortunately, uh yeah. She wanted her mother. I tried to give her good advice. I failed miserably. Relax day. 60%. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna mention this case like, I'm gonna see if you gonna snitch on yourself. Michael, Michael answered the call. Michelle, let Michelle finish call. Like, let me see where this is going. Conflict her. Push Michelle to explain. Yes, like, I'm, I'm gonna push you. Like, shoot, like, we, it could have ended right there, but nah, nah. I wanted the answers. Minute she cheated. Uh, discuss calm, calmly. <laughs> okay, I see a lot of people are not very calm and went straight to the answer of them cheating. Um, I disgusted. 
calmly and stuff. And I'm all about giving second chances. So I did that. And I forgave her. There was another option. I noticed I was kind of in the wrong a little bit. She was most definitely in the wrong. But. Okay. So if we would have freaking uh, Michael. Like we would have went up here in a bunch of different options. Still would have led us to here. But okay. And this has been. Quite the deal. No one has died. That's a plus. I bet there's some type of achievement for nobody dying. So yes, this is it's been a very long thing. Very good thing. So I I don't know how vibe this went out. Shoot, the, the the Hope Boys, shoot, I don't know what's gonna happen to them. Hopefully I get the book back from the the kid, because I know he has it, because I was him. So I get the book, give it back, and hopefully everything was smooth sailing. For the most part. But yeah. Just gets false. It's been another video. Google love, peace. Bye.